first got to know Kalia around 2007, and I just happened to stumble upon her memoir, The Late Homecomer. I was teaching at MCTC at that point, and I asked her to come in and talk to our students and give a presentation. And Kalia is somebody who has, I mean, a wide range of talents, and it's extremely rare for somebody who is such an amazing writer to also have the speaking skills that she has and the ability to really authentically connect with people. Our students were just completely blown away. So many of them have experienced so many things that she talks about in that book. They've experienced dislocation. They've experienced not belonging. Again, we have a large refugee population. A lot of them know what it's like to not have a homeland. That trauma and also the beauty at the same time of transcending one culture and going to another culture and trying to assimilate to this culture and everything that is lost and everything that you gain from that. Another thing that I really admire about Kalia in terms of her social impact is like, she's wide open. She's not just a Hmong writer. She's not just a refugee writer. She's not just a woman writer. She's not just a memoirist. She is a force to be reckoned with. She is a light in a very dark world. She is a um, linguistic warrior for Hmong people and Hmong culture. Everything she does is about advancing and solidifying the Hmong legacy here in Minnesota and throughout the world. Mm -hmm.